All right, this is Happy Half Hour, and tonight we are going to be discussing Sinchair. So I am going to share my screen in just a moment, but um, Sinchair is a third party scheduler that um, I opted to pay for a while ago. It's $10 a month. You can basically do as many parties as you want on it. It also um, not only does it schedule to parties, but it can schedule to groups. So say, for example, our team page, like I schedule things within our team page to go off because I'm not always sitting here at my computer. Um, I do the same thing in my customer page. Um, and it's just a really uh, nice little third party thing that you can use alongside your Pamper Chef business. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the SendShare website and sign up. Um, Usually they give you seven days free. Sometimes there's a code floating around that you get an extra 30 days free for a total of 37 days free so that you can use it. Um, but really after that, $10 a month is very economical for what it can do for you. All right, so let me hit the screen share and we'll go and jump on to um, my account. All right, so um, I just use my Facebook credentials to log in. So every time I come here, I just hit that button and it remembers and I log in. Okay, so when you are first signing up in your account, you're not gonna have these groups or these posts over here. So it's gonna be kind of empty. Um, and once you get going in here, it's pretty intuitive. Um, I guess my steps tend to be, I go to Facebook and I create a group, okay? And then once you create the group, let me just go into groups, a group real quick. You have to do this from a computer, this step, because you cannot, um, sorry, I have like, these things always pop up. Um, I have not figured out a way to do this step on a phone, even going through the Facebook app or going through Facebook on Safari. So let's just, for example, take our, um, our team page, which is called uh, Foreman's Fireworks. And when you, so I would say you create a group, okay? So you click create group and now this is your group that you've set up. So maybe you put your banner up there, maybe you put a pin post up there. I'll show you one of my parties in a second for you guys to do that. Um, and so you you go into more and then group setting, you have to click uh, edit uh, group settings. And then this page comes up. So you scroll down to where it says apps and you have to hit add apps. And there, I don't know what all these apps do because I've had no need to use other apps that I, that I know that work with uh, Facebook. But I just simply type in Cinch and uh, maybe because I've already selected, it's not going to come up. But I've already, you just type in Cinch and then you select Cinch Share and then that uh, pops up right there. So that's one of the things you have to do is create the group go into that settings and then you have to add um the app okay and that's just because facebook is picky and they really want you to be using their scheduler um but since share saves things easier which i'll show you in it also um so they just make us kind of jump through an extra hoop to add that all right so once you've added that you can go over here to send share. And a lot of times I forget what these icons mean and I have to click like this one and then I'm like, oh wait a minute, it's not that one, it's that one. So the one you want after you create the group is called My Networks. So you click My Networks. If you've never connected it at this point in time, it's gonna ask you to connect. So you'll go through your Facebook credentials and then I always hit the refresh button and it goes out and it grabs all the groups that I am an admin of and where SendShare has been added as an app. So if you're the group creator, you're automatically an admin. That's why I create all my groups anyway for all my virtual parties, because um, it just automatically makes me an admin. All right, so what these little icons mean is the I is gonna be what you're gonna see show up. So like after a party is over, I can unclick that 
and it goes away. So you see how, let's say for example, Alana's fundraiser, I don't need that one anymore. It happened in October. I can click the eye and it goes away. So I no longer have it. Um, now for it to show up as a party or I'm sorry, as a group that you want to select to be able to post to, you have to click the little heart. So, um, like right now, for whatever reason, Amy's launch party is not one that I necessarily need to be able to see. Let me see if I have a new one that I need. What the broken heart means is that the send share has not been added to that group as a app. So like Marianne's party. Um, and then you can see these up here. So really my active parties have the black eye blacked in and it has the heart um black black too so that makes the network available for me to be able to put a picture in there okay so let's go over here and let's just say you are doing this from scratch okay so kind of ignore all this stuff that's over here on the right let's say from scratch i want to add a picture and i've got them like these pictures i've went ahead and you know created a folder on my computer to um, have a bunch of pictures in. So let's just say, um, I don't know if I have some, let's see if I have some pictures in here. Okay, so these are the posts I was working with this fall, like I was saving them all in one spot. Okay, so let's say I've got my salad chopper picture and I wanna post that and I wanna top up like, and I can either copy and paste these words from somewhere else. Um, that's why the party packs are great because they'll have the words to use, which is where I got a lot of my wording anyway, was there. So let me just go blah, 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 testing. Okay. And this is where we're going to put this. So we're going to put this on the 26th. And uh, let's give it like an, an extra minute because I'm probably going to talk for a minute. So it's going to go 8.41 p.m. And then the group I want it to go to is fireworks. All right, that's our team page. You guys can see that. But like here are all those groups that I have the hearts. All right, so like these are all the groups that I've sung to. I've got a lot of groups open right now. And it's only because I was posting to them the seven days deals um, I'm getting ready to unclick all of these. So the only ones there, I keep my, my, um, uh, our team page there. I keep Foreman's foodies as my customer group and then whatever virtuals or cooking show parties that I have open at the time. I do not have all of these open at the, right now. It's just because I was posting last week. All right. So we're going to hit schedule post. All right. So once it gets scheduled, it jumps up over here and you're good. Okay. So right now, these are right here. It's showing you every single post I have scheduled like ever, but let's say I need to narrow it down. So I need, I want to narrow it down to what's going on the fireworks, what's going to happen in fireworks. So I just want to double check that. So here's our blah, blah, blah testing one. And then you guys can kind of cheat and see I've got posts scheduled up until, um, you know, I did some scheduling today for some other things going on. So that's where I can double check them if I need to edit or anything like that. But let me show you the party that I've got going on. All right. So her posts are done for the night and they all start tomorrow. So you can see they start at the 27th at 8 AM. And I went ahead and, um, did all, all these posts basically the same way I just showed you. So I did for the first time I ran this outline, I had to do that step that I did with you. Pick the picture, pick the wording, pick the schedule. All right, and once you get that down, like say for an entire party, it becomes really easy to copy and paste on to another party. And I'll show you that. But I just wanted to show you just doing one at a time. You can also do multiple pictures. So if you wanted to go over here, you hit the little camera thing, you can upload up to 10 pictures. So let's just go back, I can do this one. Let's do this one, let's do that one and that one. All right, this is gonna make no sense to the team page, but they're all there. All right, so I could select four pictures to do this, and we're gonna say testing two group picks, and we want that to go off tonight, and uh, we'll say 45 p.m. Check your network, okay, that's where I want it to go. And see, I have nobody else clicked right now, so it's only going there, and schedule post. 
All right, did I do that right? Did I hit the right button? Wait a minute. So if I'm not sure, I, let me go. Edit. Did I do that right? Oh no, hold on. I think I don't think I hit the right button for um, pictures. Let's try that again. Open. Oh, I forgot to hit update post. I think is what I forgot to do after I hit that step. Let them all like sync. There we go. One, two, three, four. So if I wanted to type something in each of these, I guess I could, and then I'm just gonna hit update. All right, so now you see the pictures right there and it says that there's four and all right, scheduled posts, that's gonna go off on the team page at 8.45. All right, let's say you had um, a video. So if we go over to um, my YouTube, YouTube page and here's the, here's the video. Let me hit pause and go anything. Okay, so I'm gonna hit share. There's the um, web or the, the link there. I'm copying it. Go over to the scheduler. I'm gonna paste the link here. And when you hit the link button, it's gonna go ahead and fetch that image. That's the thumbnail for that particular video. All right. So if I if I I could also do it like this. Check out my YouTube video and paste it there if I wanted to. But I've been doing my videos in here like that. But do you see how it converted it? See how that one's kind of short and then how this one is longer? That's what it does because it's pulling the thumbnail. So it needs extra like coding in there to pull that thumbnail. So you'll, some of my posts, I don't use that feature because I have multiple things going on up here. So I don't necessarily put the YouTube video in here, but um, for this one, we'll just do it like this. We'll schedule this one for two minutes later. Make sure PM tonight, fire on fireworks, schedule post. Okay, so that's what I do to create a party. So sometimes, let me see if I still have it. Um, when I developed the outline that I'm using right now, I sat down with a piece of paper. I don't know if you guys can see this. It's two pieces of paper taped together. And I kind of decided what did I want? So the outline, I wrote down the times that I wanted to do it based on an outline I got from somebody else. So right now, the way my parties work are Saturday and Sunday are getting to know you, excuse me, getting to know you posts. So I do like eight, 8.05, 8, 10, then 12, 12.05, four, 8 p.m. and 8.05 p.m. That's Saturday and Sunday. And then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, are kind of they follow the same outline so monday like today was getting dinner on the table tomorrow is breakfast and wednesday is baking so like here you can see on sherry's let me just make sure that's all sherry stuff sherry all right so here you can see that that is what i've already got scheduled here this is actually day two but it's going to follow the same format so here's my theme at eight Here's just a question at 8.05 here, and then I didn't do an 8.10 fun post on this particular one. At 11, I did recipe, did I do this right? Yeah, so 11, I did a recipe um, with a video. I did, talked about one of the products in that video, and then I talked about, I guess, coffee at 11.10. 12.30, I just did something about virtual parties. Then two o'clock, I did the waffle pan, a couple things to go along with that. Five o'clock, I just threw in, I'm sorry, three o'clock was just throwing in a post. Five, 5.05, five, 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 10 is another, um, is about the donut pan. And then you can see eight o'clock was about planning, a, oh, I should probably change that, kitchen fundraiser. Oops, I'll show you guys how to edit that. And then eight, 15 and is something else. So I guess I didn't schedule an eight. Maybe I forgot to schedule the um, 8.05 and I don't always follow the same routine for every day, but I definitely need to edit this. So let me see, edit. Yes. All right. So this, we don't want, because this is over. Um, uh, let me think. I probably don't have the guest special, so let me do that. All right, so I'm gonna go um, add picture. I oh, know I don't need multiple pictures. I just need this one. No, I just need, all right, so choose a file. 
I save all my specials in a separate folder. All right, so December, no, it's November, November guest. All right. All right, sorry, I can't talk and type at the same time. But, um, all right, so you see, I don't always, um, set of spoons, why is it, which set of spoons, why is it? All right, um, so I try to like leave, follow up, like I try to leave posts like with a question or a call to action. A lot of my posts have things about earning raffle tickets, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so there's my picture. It defaults, um, because I did hit the edit, it's 8 p.m and it's for tomorrow, and I wanna make sure that's on Sherry's party schedule. All right, so you see how that moved it to the top? Well, and now it looks out of order, but if you click most recent, it's gonna be the most recent that you posted, but if you hit schedule date, it's gonna reorder it, so now it's back to 8, 8.05, 11, 11.05, 11, 11, 11, 12, 12.30, and so on and so forth, all the way into the end of my party. This is the entire party, okay? So this is one easy way to like double check and edit is this screen. Um, this was the network screen that we visited first to refresh all of our networks. Um, text clips, I don't use. Um, I probably need to learn how to use those. It's kind of like find and replace. So like you can tell it to find the word host and replace it with what I, like Sherry's name throughout the whole party. Okay, I just am lazy and don't do that. All right, this is where you manage your posts. I'll come back to that. And then this is tutorials. Guys, take five minutes and watch a video on how to do some of this stuff, okay? All right, so let's go back over here to my manage my posts. All right, so right now I can go into, I started using the save function. Um, when somebody shares an outline with you, it will save into your saved. Okay, so like these are parties that people have shared with me or whatever. Or I schedule, like I created a bunch of posts, but I wasn't sure what order I wanted them in. So I put them in the save folder until I decided. And that's actually, let me go back over here. Where you see right here next to schedule posts, if I wanted it to just save and not go anywhere, I can hit that save button. So if you see a post on somebody's party or like on a Facebook group, you're like, oh, I really like that. Um, I, I want to use that at some point in time. I'm just not sure when I want to use it. Jump on to send share on your phone, which I do a lot. I'll put the picture in there. I'll put the words in there and then I'll drop it in the saved. Okay. Then I can come back to it later. Um, so back over here in the manager posts, that's your saved. Um, go away. All right. So pending is what it says. Things that are pending parties that are pending. So right now it's only going to show, the two things that I had pending posts on. Right now, the only things I have pending posts on is our team page. So now you guys are in on a secret, you know I cheat. And um, my online party that's going on right now. Now his, in my history, when we click, we follow this little train or this little thing all the way down. You can see, look at all these parties that are in there, okay? I'm not so worried about this, but Let's say, like at the very beginning of the season, I finally got an outline to where I liked it. The party ran. It was great. So, but I want I want to be able to share. I want to be able to duplicate that entire party. So that's basically what I did. Is I went in Tapitha. Bobby and Tapitha was a really good one that I. Oh no, hold on. Alana's probably. Let's try Alana's. Ah, this is the day my Facebook locked me out. Um, that's why I got those little red uh, thingies there. Um, who else did I just do? I'm trying to think. Uh, Courtney. Okay. So you can see, actually, this is the last post I did on her party. And here's where I went in and did the seven days of deals here recently to try to spark a couple orders to old parties. But in here, I've got all the posts that I just told you about the outline that I designed. Guys, I'm doing an outline per season. I'm not creating a new outline per party. No, I ain't got time for that. 
Okay. So an outline of season, I might change it in January because I'll, you know, this says farewell, summer, hello, fall. Like I could change that one picture and still roll with the same outline. All right. So this is what is really easy for me. I go into this button. I hit select all. I go into this. I hit, tell them I want to batch it. And then it jumps over here and it says, where do you want to batch it? And when do you want to start it? Because all I have finally realized instead of, so I don't have to count days or figure out what days things fall on. All my parties start on a Saturday. Okay. So I'm going to go, let's say my next batch is going to start on the first. All of my parties start at 8 a.m. That way I don't have to figure out because I've developed the outline where everything is going. All right. And then let's just say, um, I should have made a dummy group for this. You would just pick the group. Okay. Let me just pick a group. And then you'd hit apply interval. All right. Now, once you hit apply interval, I'm not going to hit the schedule post, but that's going to keep the exact same time as I did it the last party. Okay, so it's going to follow. So see how the 8, the 805, the 810, the tw I'm, I'm using my finger. You guys can't see my finger. 8, 805, 810, 12, 1205, 4. It's following the exact same hours. That's why I made it easy on myself and I said a Saturday at 8 a.m. Now, let's say this is a West Coast party. I don't, I don't mess around with this whole East Coast, West Coast thing. I'm just going to go in here instead of saying that, 8 o'clock, I'm going to say 11 o'clock because I know that's 8 o'clock on West Coast. So just adjust it per your um, time zone, okay? I'm not going to hit this, but once I do that, it's going to go ahead and just schedule it exactly at the same time. It's going to roll the same days of the week that I had it previously because I'm applying the exact same interval, okay? So let me get out of here so it doesn't do that. All right, but that's basically what I do. So yes, when I sat down to develop this outline, that took me a while to kind of think through. I went through a bunch of the party packs. I didn't follow one party pack, you know, exactly. I went through and picked out things from different party packs. I grabbed a couple different posts from other people that I know. And, um, you know, did it that way. So this kind of came about because that best summer ever, this um, best summer ever party was done by uh, my friend Lori Miller up in Pennsylvania. And so I went through and kind of followed her outline of everything. Like I can scroll down here and you can kind of see the times are very similar. 805, 810, and then 12, 1205, four. So I kind of followed her same outline, the way she grouped things um, how she spread out the recipes versus the games. Um, I decided, you know, where to put my tickets. Um, and I kind of just put them wherever. Uh, and then I pick a winner very randomly. I don't like count up tickets or anything. Y'all are in on a secret. I just go, mm, that one looks good. And I pick that winner. Okay. Um, some of these posts I'm still reusing. So like this replacement parts post and this guarantee post, I just was able to copy it from the summer outline and go ahead and I placed it in my other party and kind of edited the times once I got it in there. So it fit where I wanted it to. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday are my recipes and my products. And then Thursday and Friday are more about um, hosting your own party, asking me questions, replacement parts, bridal registry, fundraisers, um, the other options that we have um, when it comes to uh, my outline that I've got going on right now. So like if you're back into Caitlin and Bobby, you can see like the last couple days after. So yeah, so replacement parts, guarantee, you know, hosting your own show, big wish list, ask me about the business, a couple other things in here, another recipe. And then lastly, I asked them to join my customer group and then fill out my door price slip. So that was how I did that um, with my virtual party. But really when it comes to SendShare, it's just getting your pictures and your wording. And it's just like upload, like you write what you would do in Facebook. Like you'd want to grab a picture, copy some wording and paste and upload. It's the same thing. You just pick your date and time. And there have been many times that I've gone into my networks 
found the party I wanted to copy, highlighted everything, went to batch it and go, oh, I forgot to add the party to my network. So I have to get out of that step, go back over here to my network, hit the refresh button. Then I realize why is it not there? Oh, I forgot to add the app to the Facebook group. So then I go back to the face. So I'm like, you know, I've got to remember that you got to create the party. You've got to add the app. You got to add it to your network and then you can start working on your posts. All right. So I, um, I think I'm just going to stop there. So go ahead and unmute yourselves. If you have a question. Hi, I have a question. Um, yeah. Um, can you share, maybe not necessarily your outline, but like your outline of what you do, like day one. Yeah, I'm just going to give you the whole, whole outline. Okay. The only thing is when you share an outline, it does not save times. Right. So you can have all my pictures and all my words. You just have to figure out where you want to put them. And I always suggest adding or editing words. Like I was reading somebody's thing the other day and they say, the person said, well, I'm going to learn you some recipes. Yeah. And a couple yeah. people were like, that should say teach you. And she's like, no, that's how I talk. Well, to me, that doesn't sound correct, but I know right. dialect is different in different parts. Like, you know, maybe we don't say aren't as much as other places in the, I noticed that word, but we say y'all. So that's why I don't mind saying y'all in my, like, make sure you spell it Y apostrophe A L L. Um, you know, when you're doing stuff like that, but edit some of this stuff. That's what, that's what gets people in jail is putting the exact same words and pictures, um, in somebody's outline. Now, when I'm scheduling this, so say when I did my seven days post the other day, I went in, took, added a seven day picture, added some words, and then went one, two, three, four, five, six. And I hit eight o'clock go. And then I went in and I, you can take a post and you can uh, copy a post. So I did the same thing, copy that post. And then I unclicked these. And then I went the next six, one, two, three, four, four, five, six. Oh, I don't want that one. So I knew those were like my customer page and my team page. So I just did that and then did it 802. And then I did the same thing, copy, like edit or copy the post within send share. And then in the next six, six is the most I've ever done at one time um, on one click like that. Um, you could try more, but I, I spaced it out a little bit. So, I mean, there are some people who are running like 10 parties a week. So they do five posts at eight o'clock and five posts at five parties start at eight o'clock and five more parties start at eight o five. To Facebook that you know spreads it out I guess a little bit and Facebook also notices your activity so if you don't post a lot to Facebook and all of a sudden you start posting a lot sometimes that will like Facebook thinks whoa what are you doing somebody's hacked your account so you guys know I post a lot so I don't ever get tagged for posting too much because I post a lot as it is the one time I did get messed up is I accidentally had six parties post at eight o'clock and then I went ahead and was doing it again and had another six parties post exactly at six o'clock or whatever. So I had 12 posts going on at the same time and Facebook was like, er, and I got locked out of my parties. But that was like a really long time ago when I was first learning how to do all this. And so now I kind of make sure I pay attention to, you know, making sure my times and everything and double checking like up in here where I want to see, okay, so let me search it by just one party and make sure all my times lined up or whatever. Let me cancel that. So I don't actually do that. All right. What else you guys got? Tiffany, do yeah. you, th would you, do you think that as a beginner at Sinshare, it's easier to do it on um, like a laptop as opposed to the phone. Yeah, because that's when I, I don't, I see unless Jessica. I'm out and about, I don't use my phone like that. Yeah. I need yeah. the space. So like when you're in your phone, like for particularly like this screen, you can't see both these sides at the same time. Right. You can see this and then an arrow pops up for you to scroll over there. And then you got to hit another arrow to go back over there. So I do all my scheduling. Now, 
I have definitely batched and posted through my phone and I have grabbed individual posts for my, through my phone. But when I'm initially doing a setup, I'd rather sit at my computer and just get it all done. Like literally Saturday morning, I started this party Saturday morning and I was sitting there going, just get up, just get up and get your stupid computer. So finally I convinced Jim to go get my computer because all I needed to do was add the app to the group and then batch it. That's all I needed to do. And it literally takes three minutes to do those two steps. You got to do the adding of the, of the app on the group on a computer. Good to know. Thank you. I have not figured out a way to get around that. Any other questions? All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add you guys um, to- I do have a question. Yeah, go ahead. So, can I ask a question? You know, you shared with me your fall party outline. That's the same one. Of the, yeah. And I have read through them and changed some of them I've changed, but some of them I really have posted like word for word what you had. So I've never, it's not ding me because we're probably not posted them at the same time on the same day. Oh, okay. You know, All it's right. far enough spread. Okay. All right. All right. So let me add y'all to this old party. And then that way you can at least see the times. This is what I had to do when I got the mega party outline from Lisa or uh, Lori is I had to go into the old party and literally sit down like with a piece of paper or a calendar because I could see, like if you scroll through here, you're going to see the dates. Okay. So like you can see the dates on when I posted it, but what day was that on? Like, and I can't remember what, what day was the 28th. I don't know. So that's why I had to sit down like with a calendar and kind of make sure when I was designing my outline, you know, what day was it supposed to go on? Because some of the posts did ha- mention the day of the week. Like one of my posts says like what, like, what are you doing on a Saturday night or something? Like hit your space bar button on your phone, blah, blah, blah. Well, I don't want that posting on a Tuesday. Okay, so that's why I wanted to make sure all my parties started on the same day. And then I also wanted to, um, I make my posts as generic as possible so that I don't put the host's name in there or her shopping link. Some people prefer to do that. And so you have to go through and use either that find and replace feature to do that. Or um, I got dinged way too many times about, it says Sarah's party and my name's Angela. So I just said, you know what? I'm just going to say your host and for shopping, go up to the announcement within this group. So that's how I get away, I guess, without having to do that as I put the, the ordering link in the announcement of the group and I put it over on the side in the description. So then that way this can be as simplified as possible. On that, I was just in a 31 party. Um, sister-in-law and her ho- her consultant just started using SendShare and um, we were discussing, but she posted the entire party with somebody else's previous- name. Yeah. And it's like, obviously gives away your secret at that point. Yep. But like, you know what SendShare is, you can see that it's scheduled by SendShare, but you don't know. Yeah. Right. Like it gives away your secret. And I was like, you know, I like messaged her and I was like, Hey, uh, yeah. Like, oh, and I thought, like, I've just gotten dinged, and I feel so stupid, and so I'm just like, ugh, I know better. I should know better, and I'm a horrible proofreader, so that's why I'm like, you know what? I'm taking all the names out. I'm just going to say, you know, or, like, some of the posts that I borrowed from the summer party, it said, like, contact your consultant, blah, 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 because we had eight consultants on one party or whatever, so I took all that out and say, contact me, your consultant, because I just edited it out, I just read, make sure that that one time I read through. Now, you can always create a group, so what I have is my batter bowl butter, batter bowl buddy, Kayla, who's in um, Nebraska, her and I are in a just, it's just her and I in a group, And so when we were developing our fall outlines, we scheduled them all, or we just posted them as opposed to using the the save function. We just posted them. And so they were all the times were all willy nilly because we could go in and edit it later, but we wanted to see how it looked, 
how the words looked, how the pictures looked, you know, be able to her to read mine, me to read hers. And then that way we could, you know, make sure we didn't make any of those stupid mistakes before we put them on a party. Any other questions? Did y'all get the quick and dirty on send share so you feel like you can use it now? It's not that scary. It's just getting in there and putting your pictures in there. And I'm gonna, um, I added you to Bobby and Tapitha, so that will give you at least the timing. And then, where did I save these? If this is the correct order, this might be the, yeah, this looks like the right one. So what I, so then what you can do is you can over here, you can like hit this button here and you can say, how did I do this? This I always forget. Okay. This is a shared folder. So how do I get that? I can see that star right there means it's saved, but now I got to figure out how did I send that link to you guys? Oh, copy, copy. No. Shush. Um, I'm drawing a blank. It's not, it's not a right click. Well, I'm also on a Mac. So, oh, copy li invitation link. There we go. All right. So like if I go in here to you guys, let me hit the stop share and go into the chat. Let me just make sure this works. Yeah. All right, so you guys can see the chat function. If you click on that, it's gonna say, do you wanna import all of these into your sense share? And you say yes. So like Lisa, you've already done this because you've got my outline, but you guys can click that. And I'll post it on the, um, on the team page. Why don't I just make a post for it? How about that? Um, and I won't, because I don't wanna have to screen share again. But uh, you can turn that on. Oh, is it fixed? Oh, we have light, okay. Um, we no longer have water running out of our hall light fixture. Jim was trying to show me that. Okay. Um, all right. So any other questions? Thumbs up. Everybody's good. All right. Go forth and play with SendShare. And then that way I can share this recording. Okay. Good night.